one of the digital projects that we have at uh, the Center for Digital History is the television news of the civil rights era, 1950 to 1970. And essentially this was a, a, a warehouse of eight millimeter, 60 mil, millimeter film discovered by two television stations, national TV uh, affiliates in the Roanoke area um, about six or seven years ago. And they came across what I imagine to be this huge storeware full of you know, old yellowed boxes with the narrator's notes on it and the grease marks. And what our folks did was go through and section out particular clips that had anything to do with civil rights and a local or a statewide regional emphasis. And so you can imagine now this digital archive of hundreds of, of video clips, digitized video clips that that are provocative and ask a ton of, it brings a ton of questions to mind, but there's no historical context to it. There's no interpretation. There's no annotation. There's no footnotes. It's just raw material, raw primary source material. So the Roanoke TH grant was structured and framed around the idea that a cohort of teachers would work with a University of Virginia historian to, to better understand civil rights in Virginia history, then develop their own very intentional first person research questions on that digital archive, and then spend a year investigating their answers. Um, doing research, uh, primary research, doing secondary research, uh, essentially creating a multimedia research product that answers their question and is then folded back both into their classroom and into the community to better educate the Roanoke area about their legacy of civil rights based on this original footage. So uh, we saw that go through a full, probably 14 month process and the, the teachers who participated were, were drastically affected, but even more importantly, they created material that was historically valid, that was, um, that was um, you know, meaningful in terms of the historical dialogue, but also could be used in their classroom for teaching and application. So, you know, to, to do something like that was incredibly immersive for the teachers and heartbreakingly, painfully uh, difficult because as soon as you add that first person element, it was actually the teachers who extended it to the point where it was almost too much. But isn't that what learning is? It's when I can't stop because it's so important. Um, and then we asked them to sort of unpeel what they did and think about how they might do similar things with their own their own classes and students. So, so that's sort of the, you know, sort of the the uh, the, the bellwether of of that immersion.